Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. All right, well, speaking of the beaches, it's nice to see they're open. It's going to be hot this weekend. It is going to be hot this weekend and humid. That's why they call it the air you can wear, Sarah. <laughs> yep. It certainly is very uncomfortable out there across North Country right now. We've got a stationary front right along the international border, sort of separating two air masses. To the south, we've got a very humid and sultry air mass. You can tell there's a lot more moisture with a lot more clouds, even some showers. Much clearer to the north, cooler and drier air, and that shows up really well on our dew point map. You can see dew points in the 60s. 60s and 70s across New England, but up in Canada, 60s and 50s. Unfortunately, that cooler and drier air is not going to make it in our direction. It's going to stick, stay up there in Canada as our flow turns more to the southwest this weekend. So temperatures right now in the 70s, so it doesn't look too bad out there. We got a 78 in Cabot, 75 in Danville, 80 in Russell. But unfortunately, the humidity is with us right now with those dew points in the 70s. So it's tropical rainforest vibes out there right now. We got the clouds and some sunshine popping up over western New York. That'll slowly push in our direction through the afternoon. So we'll see a mix of sun and clouds. Couple of showers and storms off to the east in the northeast kingdom. One just had popped there near Grove to New Hampshire. Has dissipated and moved off to the south and east. A few more showers there in southern Vermont. But overall, the shower and storm chance is kind of isolated today. It turns hotter tomorrow with a lot more sun for the day on Saturday. The humidity lasts with us through this weekend, probably into the first part of next week. And there is a low shower and storm threat each day this week. And I think the higher threat does come on Sunday with a little bit more instability in the forecast. So you can see that for the rest of today, showers and storms mostly in the central and southern parts of the region, slowly dropping off and diminishing as we head through the rest of the afternoon. Mix of sun and clouds, so not too bad. It actually might get a little bit less humid this afternoon before the humidity quickly returns tomorrow might be some morning fog but turning to that sunshine so it'll be hot and humid maybe a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms over the tire terrain that's more likely in central and southern areas once again a little bit better shot on Sunday as the front gets a little closer so you can see a little bit more widespread coverage of those showers and storms still doesn't look like a washout I think many locations in during the day on Sunday actually stay dry may get a little bit more organized convection in here by Sunday night into Monday, but that's still a little bit up in the air. We'll, of course, keep you posted throughout the weekend. The other thing is those dew points. They'll go way up. They might drop a little bit this afternoon into the 60s, low 60s actually, in some locations, so it'll feel a little bit better tonight, but then the humidity spikes right back up as the flow turns to the south and west tomorrow. The dew points back up near 70, and they actually might climb even higher through Sunday, mid-70s possible in some locations, Sunday, Sunday night into Monday, so it really will feel like Florida out there. Very uncomfortable heat indices near 100 degrees in some spots tomorrow and Sunday. So you'll, of course, want to limit your time outside, maybe find a nice swimming hole or even a lake. It's going to be nice. We'll enjoy the cooler temperatures this afternoon. Highs in the 80s for the most part. Low 80s, sun and clouds, a little bit on the muggy side, but not quite as much as this weekend. Northern Vermont and New Hampshire, more of the same mix of sun and clouds and muggy with a few showers and thunderstorms. A little bit better of a shot down in southern Vermont this afternoon where it'll be a little bit warmer in the upper valley, upper 80s to near 90 in spots. Tonight is a little bit more comfortable, especially in the Adirondacks where we expect 50s, upper 60s to near 70 elsewhere. And then Saturday turning hot with the highs back into the 90s, Sunday 90s as well. Monday and Tuesday, Beginning of a pattern change there, more chances for showers and storms before the humidity and heat get knocked down by midweek. Highs back near 80 degrees by Wednesday. Sarah Beth. 